Our next honoree is lauded as one of Latin America's most talented and inspirational actors and filmmakers. Yes. In the heart of this outstanding artist is a man who believes in the power of open dialogue between all Latinos, an exchange of perspectives and ideas that will define our future and change the world. Let's take a look into the life of one incredible visionary. From a young age, Gael Garcia Bernal led a life destined for artistic excellence. As one of Mexico's most iconic filmmakers, Bernal has played an important role in Latin America's long-awaited cinematic renaissance, receiving universal acclaim for his work as an actor, director, and producer. Using his international success in films and television series like The Motorcycle Diaries, Babel, Y Tu Mama Tambien, and Mozart in the Jungle, Bernal has been an instrumental ambassador for Latin America's rising prominence in the film industry, aiming not only to preserve funding for filmmaking, but also to expand access to international films for thousands of Latinos. In 2005, alongside fellow Hispanic Heritage Award honoree and lifelong friend Diego Luna, Bernal founded Canana Films, one of Latin America's most influential production companies, and the Ambulante Documentary Film Festival, which travels throughout Mexico once a year to bring documentary films to locations where they are rarely shown to foster cultural exchange. Bernal's vision of a cinematic culture that serves to inform and empower all Latin Americans is reinforced by his passion for telling stories of the Latino experience and creating a world where Latin American stereotypes and cliches are challenged. For Bernal, the importance of developing a sophisticated and diverse discourse amongst Latinos is essential to their continued success. Creating a cultural identity that crosses all borders and unites Latin Americans across the globe. To present the 2017 Hispanic Heritage Vision Award, please welcome acclaimed writer and author of The True American, Anand Girdardis, and star of USA's Queen of the South, Veronica Falcon. When you watch Gael on screen, you see an artist in tune with his humanity and his purpose. He holds nothing back. Whether he is conducting an orchestra or leading a revolution, his fierce, loving intensity grips you. No matter which audience he encounters, from television to documentary films to animated features like Disney's Pixar's upcoming Phil Coco, Gael has the heart and the conscience to choose projects that enrich the Latino experience and spark dialogue, meaningful dialogue, about the importance of diversity in this entertainment industry. We cannot wait to see where his vision will take us. It is our great privilege to present the 2017 Hispanic Heritage Vision Award to Gael Garcia Bernal. ¡Qué barbaridad! ¡Eh! ¡Qué bonito! De verdad, me, carajo, me, me, me van a sacar las lágrimas, en serio. Este, y, soy, y soy muy sensible y soy bastante llorón. Eh, estoy muy, I'm very thankful to be here, really. I, I, I feel a very strong privilege and, and an honor and, uh, and an emotion eh, to be accepted because this is an acceptance into a community that uh, that accompanies and that embodies Latinos here in the United States. I've got, I must say, because it is important to, to say this, that I don't I don't live in the United States. I live in Mexico. I come a lot to the yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I come to me, to the United States to work every now and then, like migrant workers should. You know, I go back to my home. 
I have that privilege to be able to go back to my home, to go back with my kids in Argentina, in Mexico, to be with them and to come here often to work. This, this freedom of transit is exactly what one of the huge debts of the 20th century that we are very privileged to have, but many, many, many millions of people in the world are not able to have. So I, I want to dedicate this award to these people, these people that make this peril, that take this future into their hands and go forth and look for a right that, that is undeniable to any human being, which is just to be better. And to be better means to be better in a community as well, is to aim for the common good. And this is a big shout out or a signal or a, or a big hello from here, which we're going to hear from you later, to all the dreamers and all the people, that, all the young kids that, that are in this situation, in this very critical situation, because it is not it is not easy, it is not, it is unlike it's ever been. It is really complicated. There's an irrational mythology, an irrational fabricated idea that we are rapists, that we are criminals, drug traffickers. We, 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 it's very difficult to counteract that irrational ideology with rational thought. What we have to do is to manifest ourselves in every shape and form. Absolutely. Not be afraid. Be empowered. Be contestatarians. Those little guys that are fighting for the right to stay here in this country. Be, be badly behaved. Be contestatarian. Really, speak out. I'm sure, I mean, you might be really afraid, but but please not be, you know, please, please feel empowered. And my job as a, as a Mexican and as a, as a, I think as a, I don't know, I, I, I want to talk on behalf of everybody in Mexico, really, to you guys, is that no matter where you're from, no matter why your parents came here to the United States or your grandparents or your great grandparents came to the United States or why you came to the United States, it doesn't matter. We, as Mexicans, we have to offer you the possibility to feel that Mexico is your home as well. And, and, this, is, and this is something that has, to be, that has to be built on a forward wheel plan. You know, it is not just as easy as an open invitation. No, no, no. It is, it, you, you have to feel good. You have to feel safe. Like we all have to feel wherever we live. The ancients used to say that wherever you feel good, that is your home. Well, I, I promise you that, that my, my, my intention is to make you feel good in Mexico, back where your parents, your great-grandparents, or your great-great-great-great-great-grandparents were from, and that you also consider that a home if you want to come visit, if you want to come live there. We need you. We need you more than ever. Thank you.